Alright guys, this video will be the second video for week 40, and it'll basically pick up where I left off in the first week 40 video. This cotton mouth was the last thing I filmed uh, before I cut the last video, because things started getting a little bit off the chain after I found that snake. Anyways, this video is probably going to contain quite a bit of voiceover, just because what went down was one of those situations where I was losing my mind a little bit too much to coherently put together thoughts and there's quite a lot of things that didn't end up getting recorded because I was just losing my mind. Anyways I will fill you guys in more as we go so let's get started. Alright guys well I am super glad we got to see a cotton mouth tonight on top of everything else so far but right now we're shifting our focus to looking for turtles and uh, the water's a little murky. We haven't gotten any rain, so conditions are pretty much the same as they have been the last couple times we've been out. But maybe we'll get lucky. Yep, Where'd he go? God idea. damn. He's being a dumbass and wedging himself under this stick. Oh, I see his face. Yeah, he's right there. It's the beaver round two. This is a completely different spot, too. Look at him. Someone, someone poke him. Absolutely I'll touch not. his tail. I'm scared. Oh, I scratch his butt. Oh my god. <laughs> he's so friendly. Dude. Dude, he feels cool. Touch his butt. Touch his butt, Daniel. Yeah, reach down there, feel that fur. It feels cool. He can't reach you because of that stick. Yeah, give him a little pat. Dude, he feels like... Feels like a dog. <laughs> he feels so <laughs> gross. It's like if somebody like, let a dog into the river and it, oh you know, dead or something. Oh my god, we're friends now. <laughs> Okay. Touch him, Noah. <laughs> I touched the last like one. A wet feels good. Child, I don't even feel so <laughs> weird. He's like slick and he's so thick. That's a little feet. thickums right there, if I've ever seen one. Yeah, it might be preggers. <laughs> he looks like a shark under the water. Hello, hi. He's so friendly. I was like, I thought the last one might have had something wrong with it, and that's why it was so friendly. But I guess they're just all friendly. Fascinating. Whoa! Did you see how fast he went? What is that? <laughs> Just slipped the water snake. And uh, him and a bunch of ants. First one of these tonight. Apparently, night flipping water snakes is a good way to find them. This guy looks like he's in shed. Here's a, dude, look how tiny that one is. Wow, grab him real quick. Nice. That is a newborn. And this guy's gone. That is a little boy alert right there. Third middle water snake of the night. All right guys, we've got a tree frog right here. I can't tell, uh, I think it's just a green tree frog. It's a beautiful green tree frog. Let's see if I can get a zoom in on him right there, and then I'll get him down for a better look, but... See his white underbelly right there? Alright guys, here's a better look at this green tree frog we just found. This guy has a really unusually thick stripe. Usually they have a kind of thin green stripe. Or, green. A thin white stripe. Anyway, it's pretty cool. We're gonna put this guy back in his tree and keep herping. That actually is really cool, because it makes three species of tree frog we found here on three consecutive visits, and they were... Oh. Okay. They were all different. Anyway, he's gonna put him back in his tree and keep herping. All right, guys, check this out. Greg just spotted this baby alligator snapping turtle right here submerged in the water. I don't know how well you can see him, but he is very well camouflaged even though he is pretty much a fresh hatchling. He's still got some staining on his back, but this is exactly what we were hoping to see today. I just, it, the last three days have been absolutely ridiculous and this is just the icing on the cake. Anyways, I'm gonna get a couple pictures of this guy in C2 and then we'll get a better look at him. Alrighty. It looks like to me they hatched out over here somewhere and they all started digging around like this. There we go. Look at that. This is my first hatchling alligator snapping turtle I've ever seen. And Daniel's lifer, so pretty special night so far. And we just got down here to the creek. Hopefully this is not the only thing this spot has for us tonight, but we'll see. This was actually was this the first turtle of the night? It was, wasn't it? So it was around this point that I 
realized my video light was dying and my flashlights were also dying and it didn't have a lot of extra batteries so a lot of my footage from this point on is sketchy at best. I was having a hard time really even looking for snakes and turtles and an even harder time getting decent video of them. Looks like he's gonna come up for a breath. No, oh, no, this rock is indeed moving. Off he goes. Alright guys, well we are going to let this hatchling alligator snapping turtle go back to his little position right here and we're going to keep on, her look he's going right back to what he was doing. Anyways, we're going to keep on looking and see if we can find any more. Couldn't ask for a better first turtle of the night. So that alligator snapping turtle is right here. Oh yeah, I see him. And over here in this tree, like a yep, good looking midland water snake, sleeping. I'm just gonna leave that guy right there, and we're gonna keep on herping. There's another one right there. Really? The where? That tree. This tree? Yeah, right here. Where, see where you're oh, right? I do see him. Yeah. That's cool. That's super cool. Look at that. Two of them right here together. Greg has gotten no less than two more cooters over here, but they all seem to be underwater. That one looks like that one I caught the other day from back here. This one's tiny. I mean, at that size, they're smaller. These guys are out foraging too. At least those two look like they were. Got him. Get the shirt wet for that. That's a pretty one. Look at that pattern. <laughs> look at that thing? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like a sea cucumber. It looks like some kind of weird, like German sausage or something. <laughs> it's a pretty one. Yep, sure is. Alright guys, Daniel just spotted our second alligator snapping turtle of the night. It's another little one. It's a little bigger than the last yeah, one. Yeah, it is. So. It's tucked in right there, you can see it. Holy f***. Awesome. Go get him, Daniel. Grab. Yeah, he could get under that rock, I guess. Here we go. Here we go, dude. Holy f***. Awesome. That's about a two or three year old one. Whoa. Just like I said. That's so crazy. Look at the eyelashes <laughs> on this guy. People pay a lot of money to have eyelashes like that. Alright guys, and as always, we're going to let this guy go right back to where you found him. Daniel doesn't see it, guys. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh, he sees it. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a minute. I only dive those pools, and you can use my old mask. I'm down. <laughs> this one's really small. I'm not sure if this is a hatchling from this year or maybe a yearling, but pretty cool. The smallest one I've seen recently, at least. So we're gonna put this guy back in his tree. <laughs> All right, guys. Greg's gonna grab this cooter real quick. We'll get a better look at it. Assuming I don't fall face first in the water. That is a hefty one. That is a hefty cooter, if I do say so myself. It's pretty stained. Looks like. I'm probably not going to film too many of these guys tonight because y'all know the drill, but here is another Midland water snake in C2. Another one. Low on the water. Oh, oh it's a Rufus face screech owl. Look is at he that. Eating? He's hunting, I think. Check that out. Rufus phased eastern screech owl just hunting over this creek. That's amazing. What a night it's been. Just, it's so rare. I'm like 10, less than 10 feet from this owl. And he doesn't seem terribly concerned. He's looking at something down here in the water pretty intently. So after watching and photographing this owl for a few minutes, 
we headed a little bit further up the trail, and I noticed a weird-looking depression in the sand in what looked like maybe eggshells. And uh, in closer inspection, I saw little feet marks coming out of it. And we gave it a closer look, and this is what happened. This was an alligator snapping turtle nest in the process of hatching. So, I spotted this nest where you can see where turtles have climbed down right here. And Greg came over here and started digging. Here, let's, let's get them out because I want to make sure fire ants don't get to yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to get video Look, of here's it. one here. Another one? Oh, yeah. Shit. What? Dude, this is insane. That's two baby alligator snappers Look, so far. They're all right here. Holy oh. shit. Okay, so... Let's see, a female face this way. Her legs went in here, so the rest... Is this a dead be... one? It is. Look. Yeah, that's oh, a... Fuck. That's one yeah, that got see, eaten or yeah. something or died underground. Yep. And that's that's the thing is the fire ants are the biggest problem. So we see all these turtles that have already safely exited the nest and made it to the water, at least we hope. It looks like a lot of them have maybe kind of wandered off in the wrong direction. But hopefully this little natural embankment has guided them the right way towards the water down here. Fortunately, we were able to rescue quite a few baby alligator snapping turtles from just below the sand and found a bunch more in the general area. Uh, unfortunately, a couple of the babies did get killed by what we can assume was the fire ants that were around the nest. Uh, they probably got attracted by the yolk from the hatching turtles and you know how ants work. Something that can be eaten pops up and they're on it in a matter of minutes. We ended up finding a total of 12 baby alligator snapping turtles uh, just below the surface of the sand and in the vicinity of the nest, but it's likely that there were quite a few that were still buried underground. Hopefully those turtles made it out alive and uh, made it through the water safely, but you can never know. These turtles are capable of laying up to 60 eggs, so it's possible that this is only the surface of this particular nest. Alright guys, here is all of the baby alligator snapping turtles that were in this general area that came presumably all out of this one nest. You think this is one turtle's nest? or Yeah, you, this, you is, know, this is This one is nest. one big turtle that laid this nest. So yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to, we rinse these guys off for a quick photo and we're going to make sure they get safely to the water, which is just down there. And then we're going to leave them on their way and wish them the best of luck in this cruel world for a tiny turtle. So, I... There's no words for this. This is absolutely the pinnacle of herping right here. It just doesn't get any better. Right along here, let's see. I'm gonna try and move some right into this. There's all this wood and stuff. It's down in here, looks good. Right there. Wow. Alright, best of luck to these little guys. They're in the best place they can be in this log jam right here in the shallow water. And hopefully they'll be able to stay away from fish until they get big enough to eat them. So, we're going to leave these guys here. What just an absolutely ridiculous way to end a night like this. Unbelievable. Alright guys, I don't know what we're expecting to happen that's anything close to better than that, but we're going to finish walking this creek before we call it a night. It's almost 5 a.m. right now, we've been at it for hours, but... I think everyone's just kind of in shock right now about that, so. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing these little turtles as much as I did. It was an absolute pleasure to get to see some of these guys come into the world. I'm also really glad we came along when we did and were able to rescue a couple of those turtles that were still stuck in the nest from the fire ants that were crawling all over the place. Uh, at least one of them had already been eaten, which was a terrible shame. But uh, you can't save them all, so hopefully the rest of the turtles that were possibly in that nest still got out okay. Since I recorded this video, we actually did get a nice heavy rainstorm, so hopefully that freed any of the turtles from this nest that were still trapped and any other nearby nest by loosening the soil and allowing them to clamber out on their own. Anyways, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like or a subscription is much appreciated, and I will see you guys next week.